Combine a rugged landscape with windswept plains and total isolation. Add to that scores of enthusiasts with a passion for pitting man and machine against nature. And you have the Australian Outback Odyssey. An annual event for charity that mixes the thrills of rally driving with a liberal dose of fun and a whole lot of sightseeing through some of the world's most rugged terrains. But the challenge doesn't stop there because the cars in the race are almost 30 years old and in some cases even older. Classic Australian cars lovingly preserved or restored only to run the risk of ending up in a mechanical graveyard somewhere in the bush. The drivers come from all walks of life and all eager for the experience of a lifetime. On this outback odyssey, more than 50 classic cars and support vehicles would set off from the traditional starting point of Adelaide in South Australia. Their destination, some three and a half thousand kilometres later, Darwin, in the tropical north. But the route would be far from direct. After an initial first leg on normal roads, the cars would veer off onto roads that were no more than tracks in the dirt or boulder-strewn gullies, through forests and deserts, through water and dust. The Outback Odyssey lasts for nine days, and in that time, the competitors would get to show off their driving skills. Or perhaps not. For one competitor, the event was also something of a homecoming. Maurice de Rowan is the Agent General in London for the South Australian Government. Well, the Agent General dates from almost the settlement of the colony and was the liaison in London between the colonial office there and the state or the colony itself. And so the role was to handle all of the administration to and from colony to colonial office and back again. 